Hey everybody, Tom McCurchin here, and welcome to Tormented Souls. I have seen this game, and uh, I know a little bit about it. It's kind of like the old Resident Evils. It's a little loud for me. Let me turn that down a little bit. So this game is kind of like the older Resident Evils. And basically, you're trapped, I think, in a hospital. And you are, you're meant to, to kind of escape, figure out what's going on. That's kind of the whole deal with survival horror. Now, let's get started. Uh, okay. I hear this game, for being an indie game, this thing gets survival horror really right. I honestly don't know much about it. I've seen it, and I know what um, I know what it's about, but I've not actually played it. I don't know much about a letter for me. I never receive letters. Okay, uh, from John Doe, Wilburg Hospital. I think that's the name of the place where we're gonna end up. Winter Lake, Blackwood Island, Canada. Oh shit! We got dangerous Canadians! Where the hell has that ever happened? This is gonna be great. I love this. I love it already. To Caroline Walker, 578 Rain Street, Campbell River, Canada. Okay. Our protagonist is also from Canada. Look at that stamp too. Like it's got a bull on it and it's got like a guy on a horse. Like that's kind of. Uh, hi. Ah! What was that? Uh, you just think you can abandon us here. Okay. I don't remember abandoning anybody. Uh, it's been two weeks oh, since I received that letter from the Wildburger yeah. Hospital. He deserved it. Since then. I I've definitely fine. never abandoned a girl. I can't get out of my head the image this of those is, uh, little girls. I can't sleep. Strange. And when I am able to fall asleep, it's only to dream horrible nightmares. I need to know what's going on. What's the meaning of all of this? I'm going to the Wildburger Hospital in hopes of finding some answers about this strange photo. I need to know what's going on. Missing a subtitle there, but okay. Yes. You definitely should have come alone. That's always a good option. Always. Other people, they just make the world so much more difficult. You know, unless they don't. Like at these kinds of situations. Oh! Damn! Was that a shovel? Are, are we dead? Are we dead? I don't think we're dead. Pretty sure we're not dead. Oh. Oh. Uh. Okay. I'm gonna just go ahead and skip that. Oh god. I can't. I can't do that. Mm -mm. I'm gonna have to blur that in editing too. Uh, so, oh, I kind of skipped something. So, basically, who could have done such a horrible thing to me? Why? So, I kind of accidentally hit the button again by mistake. You're missing an eye. I saw that in the trailer. Or not the uh, trailer, um, the review I watched. What? Birth certificate. Sex female born. Wild burger. Born nine. Wait. Today is the happiest day of my life. After all, the suffering we have endured 
past few years, Maria, my beloved wife, has blessed me with two beautiful angels. But there is more. After all this time, she has returned to me. She looked at me with her eyes wide as if she had not seen me in years, like she was waking up from a dream. That is not all. Something odd happened when I checked my watch to find the exact time at which the first baby, Emma, was born. As I opened the lid, the glass cracked and the hands utterly stopped. That's never good. You need to get a new watch there, hombre. I do not think this event to have some... I do not think this event to have some meaning or other. I am not super, a superstitious man, but Maria insists that it is a sign. She has started using the hour as her lucky number and uses it for everything. Okay. Not sure what that has to do with anything. Oh, it's for controls. Okay. Um, right. So, you, there are tank controls, but I am refusing to use them because I hate tank controls. Oh, I can. Okay. So, I've got a watch there, obviously. Okay. Okay. Oh, hello. Time stood still when my two angels fell from heaven. Oh, is this the watch the angel was talking about? Uh, an old photograph of two young twins. What is that? 12... 35? Okay. Door's missing, I can't... Okay, it's missing a knob. So, 12... 35? Is that the... Hell yeah! Alright! And I get the lock, too! Nice! Okay. Uh, not sure what the lock... I got a monkey wrench. Jaw size is just. Do I use that to open the door? I I love this game already. <laughs> okay. Um I never understood taxidermy. Wait, was that the room I just came out of? I think it is. I'm not a fan of that camera angle. Okay. Can I open that? No. The fuck you looking at, kid? I got a lighter. So I guess, okay, this is my light now. Um, what do I do? Oh, I didn't even see this. Hello? Anybody? Wow, this was open. I was fully expecting this to be locked. Okay, I'm not ready to leave this area yet. <clears throat> I am not, I'm feeling very undefended. Diary. Ooh, this is the lady. This is a. Uh, is this is this the daughter of the hospital or the wife? Um, let's see. I was terrified of what William would do when he finally saw my naked skin, but my fingers, but my fears were unfounded. He accepted me, even with the scars on my back left by my father's whip. William asked me why he did it. Of course, I explained that the pain was to redeem my sins. William will never look at my father in the same way again. Yeah, I wouldn't either. I'd probably kick the shit out of him, too. Yeah, no, that's not cool. No. You are, uh, you're, 
piece of shit beat the kids, and I have no respect for you. And therefore, stop! No! Nails. A clip of nails can be used with a nail. Okay, am I gonna... What is this? A report about the Tisma tribe. According to the latest archaeological discovery on Winter, Winter Lake Island, the Tismuit, Tismuit tribe resides on the island for resided on the island for more than 500 years before being discovered by European settlers. Proof of proof of this. I can't read today. Proof of this is this is an ancient underground cemetery found deep inside the cavern on the island shore dating from the 10th century. More than 286 skeletons belonging to the 10-year-old belonging to 10-year-old children have been unearthed so far in the underground cemetery. All the bones were buried in pairs, and experts suspect that these were twins buried together. Oh boy, that's not good. That's not, not good. What's that noise? Electronically. There's a box. Over here. A pharmacy service window. I can't see anything on the other side. This dog gives me the creeps. Yeah, gee, no shit. Okay. Um, so I'm not playing in the dark, as you can see. Uh, normally, I probably would. It's covered in blood. Got it, Reeks. I don't dare lift the sheep. Yeah, probably a smart idea. What is that? Detailed mannequin of the human torso. Oh, that's interesting. Medical books not be useful. You didn't even check! What? So left side of a plastic heart. Okay. Those are going here. What is that noise? Seriously. Seven inch tape that can be used to record information. Old files. Nothing interesting. It's not plugged in. Then plug it in, you dip dingle. Okay, I have... Oh. Can I save that? Oh, this is... Oh, that's so cool! An old magnetophone. It looks like it works. Recording my progress might be useful if anything happens to me. My name is Caroline Walker. I came to Wild Burger Mansion seeking information about two girls in a photograph I received in the mail a couple of weeks ago. The last thing I remember before losing consciousness was arriving at the hospital and entering the mansion's main hall. I remember pain and then nothing. I woke up sometime later connected to a ventilation machine and my eye had been removed. Why? Why would someone do such a thing? I don't know what the hell is going on in this place, but I need answers. Every time I close my eyes, I see those girls. Am I going insane? I mean, you you literally got knocked out by somebody, so no, you're not going insane. Somebody led you here. Stop with the noises! That doll's gonna come alive and I'm gonna shoot. Once I find a gun, I'm gonna shoot that. Please stop with the random noises. They're creepy, and I don't like them. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Real quick. Who designs doors like this? There should be nobody in the world. Ooh, man. There should be no one in the world who designs doors like this. If you design doors like this, you are a madman and you deserve to lose everything. Because you make my job harder, you make everything far creepier, I hate you, and it's locked from the other side. Okay. Judith beheading 
hollow furnace painted by Caravaggio, I don't know how to spell that, how to pronounce that, in 1602. It depicts Judith, yeah, I, I kind of got that from the name. Uh, the recreation of the work is outstanding. It almost looks like the original. It could be the original. We don't know that. Look, you got knocked out and hooked up to a ventilator. I have no doubt this person is willing to steal art that, that they like. What is that? Can I push that? No buttons. I want a big red button to push. It's, it's weird. Okay. All right. So these are probably going to be our handles. Dr. William Wildberger, since the patient's health is extremely delicate and the transformation could worsen their condition, I would advise against transferring them to the new hospital. The patient has cardiac ins insufficiency and requires an immediate transplant. The patient passed away at 11.34 p.m. due to cardiac arrest. At the time of their death, they were holding, they were holding on to a metal object with the rapid onset of rigor mortis, I have been unable to remove it from their hand. Then break the bones. A hex and socket. It's missing a hand. Gee, you don't say. Okay. I hate this, by the way. I love Resident Evil. I really do. But, like... I... No. Oh, well, thank you. Sir! Have, do you have a moment to speak about Jeebus? Oh! It's mutilated. What the hell is going on here? Clearly nothing good. Uh, and and please, I'm I'm begging you, game. Please stop with the random noises. Why are you? Why are you? Uh, where, where did the gentleman with the wheelchair go? person I've seen in here and there are monsters walking around. He's the bad guy. Kill him. Kill him right now. What the hell is going on here? My child, you are pale. What happened to you? Oh, eat shit, priest. A person in a wheelchair with knives in his hands was chasing me. No, not knives in his hands. Knives as his hands. We are dealing with Edward Scissorhands' ugly cousin. Oh, it's you. Don't you remember me? I'm the town priest. We met here in the chapel only a couple of days ago. You do not get to deny what's happening here. You are clearly the bad guy. What? I'm sorry. I don't remember you. you. I certainly you don't remember coming here before. Stop! I see. Perhaps I'm mistaken. I'm old and get confused every now and again. I'm going to kill you. I am going to kill you slowly. What is going on here, Father? Where is everybody? Why don't you ask the corpse sitting in front of the Padre there? The patients and the hospital personnel have been transferred to the new hospital in town. This old mansion has been left pretty much abandoned. Why are all the lights off? I don't like this. I feel the same. Something evil is happening here. Something wicked that hides in the shadows. Is there a way to turn on the lights? 
The old generator has been playing up. It happens sometimes. Go to the end of the hall and through the door that leads to the generator room. You can restore the power from there. I see. I'll do that. Wait. Take this with you. It's not much, but it might be useful. It's dangerous to walk around the mansion unarmed. If that's the case, why are you here? Thank you, Father, but are what are you going dead? to do without a weapon? A sensible question! <laughs> my child, with a Bible in my hand, God protects me. You are such a fucking liar. <laughs> you are the biggest fucking liar I've ever seen. I'm not plugged in. Okay, you are clearly the bad guy. I look forward to shooting you at Endgame with a nail gun. Okay. Um. Well-worn crowbar. Okay. Um. Hello. Oh! Diary entry. January 1st, uh, 1967. William promised me that moving into the mansion where the city hospital is located would be the best for us, and it would allow us to spend more time together. These days, however, I find him spending every waking hour at work. I fall asleep waiting for him at night. His passion for medicine is what made me fall in love with him in the first place by being selfish. Not really, not if the guy's creating monsters like he is. Oh, well, morphine treats minor injuries. All righty. Okay. I wanted to see something. I can equip the crowbar, but now I can't see. Oh god. Where are you? Cool. Nails. Can't open the other one. Gaz nostril. Gaz. Not true now. <clears throat> One of these is missing something. This is 10. Oh, okay. So I have to get it to 10. electrical generator the pressure of the gas must be exact for it to ignite the correct pressure is written on the control 
Thanks, I figured that out already, jackass. That would have been helpful. It was easy to figure out. There was a giant piece of tape that said 10. Boink. says 10 exactly. Wait a minute. Hang on one sec. Nope, that's not it. Nope, that's not it either. Okay. So, okay. So I think I got it this time. So it, when I press the button, it should now read 10. Yes! All right! Got it. So now I don't need the lighter. I'm going to equip myself with my new gun. A nail gun. I'm hoping I get an actual weapon. You may find what you're looking for in the library. How can I find the library? It's on the second floor of the East Wing. Take the stairs in the main hall. Oh, you'll need to unlock the door in the waiting room. Thank you. Take care, Father. Oh, he's still here. Yeah, I know. Okay. We're not doing that. Okie dokie. Then plug it in, jackass. I just got done. Hang on, wait. Because something weird happens when you're in the dark. So equip this until I get through the dark. I think I'm going to end it here for right now, guys. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I had a blast. Um, I'm definitely going to play more of this. But I will do so next time. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed watching me freak out against monsters. And weird sounds. But <laughs> until next time, this is Atomic Urchin signing out. I'll see you guys next time.